right, so we're on, right? Okay, cool. So yeah. today we're going to be factoring difference of squares. You ready? Yeah! Follow my lead. Yay, Matt! <laughs> Yay, Matt! <laughs> that was fun. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, that was great. Okay. Yeah. Who can factor this difference of squares? Uh, difference of squares? Who recalls how to factor difference of squares? Anyone? Yeah. Anyone recall how to factor difference of squares? Not exactly. Okay. So, oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so the way to factor difference of squares is we look for a difference, minus sign, and we look for this being a perfect square, and this being a perfect square. Right. So, good. Is this a perfect square? As in something times something makes it. Yeah. 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 What times what I makes x? x times x. What times what makes 49? Seven. 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 Oh. So th this is a difference of squares. So difference of squares follows this format. Right? Plus minus. Okay. And now the first term is what times what makes x? X, X, X squared, X. excuse me, what times what makes right X answer. squared? Then 7 and 7. 7 and 7. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, question? No, but isn't this like what we did a few... Yeah, yeah, before we foiled, we got to that, now we're going factor and get to this. Yes? Is it always plus minus? It could be minus plus. Okay. It could be minus plus, but yeah, the signs are different. Oh. Always signs are different. Alright. Wait, is so it now, 5? Yeah. So more difference of squares. Identify the following as a difference of squares. <laughs> I think it's funny too. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, is this a difference of squares? Uh, Who can look at it? Look at this. What times what makes 144a squared? 12a. 12a. 12a times 12a. What times what makes 49? So we factor it, and then we set those factors to zero. Right? Hopefully you're comfortable with factoring by now. Here we go. Factor, factor, equal to zero. Difference of squares. Just so you know, if this was a cubed, for example, it would not be a difference of squares anymore. So we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. So then what do you do? Well, 64 is a cube, yes, but 9 is not, so it wouldn't be. Okay. There is such a thing called difference of cubes. That's good. So, plus minus. Help me out. What goes in the front? 3y. 3y. Three three y. Y. Help me out. What goes in the back? 8. Uh, two. Oh, uh, it's not 8. 8. eight. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I forgive you. 8. Okay. Wait, I have a question. Yes, question, please. Um, okay. So, it does, <laughs> with, with, with difference of squares, does it always have to be plus and minus? Yes, okay. or minus plus. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you remember how to solve when you have a factored equation equal to zero? What do you do to each factor? Yeah, what do you do? Make each one zero. Correct. So... Let's make each one equal to zero. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. Good timing. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> All right, so that's 3y plus 8 equals zero, and 3y minus 8 equals zero. And we solve, right? Here we go. Minus 8, minus 8. 3y equals negative 8. Sometimes you got to improvise. 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 Woo! <laughs> hey, improvise. Yeah. You like this? This shows dedication. It. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll wash my hands. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so, divided by 3, divided by 3, <laughs> y equals negative 8 over 3. Any, any questions about process here? No. I'm just kind of going through the motions. So, two solutions. Okay, thanks. <laughs> two solutions, here they are. Well, you got it right, so there's a bubble right, right. party. Yeah, bubble party for you. <laughs> okay. Obviously. So, a couple more, right? A couple more. <laughs> it's all good. This is dedication. New hand. You feel like the karate kid? All right, I think that's the last time you have to erase anyway. Oh. Okay. 
All right. Two more problems. Let's write them side by side. 50 minus 8a squared equals 0. And w squared minus 4 over 49 equals 0. All right. Yeah. So let's think about it. Think about it. Is this a difference of squares? Yes. No. What times what is 50? Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, no. no, it's 50 is not a perfect square. What times what is 8a squared? 4a times 4a? No, nothing. 4a times 4a is 16a. I mean, 4a times 2a. Oh, yeah. But that's not a perfect square. That's right. 4a times 2a. So what was the first step in factoring always? Someone tell me. Look for the what? Common. Common. Greatest common factor. Greatest common factor. Yeah. Is there one here? Two. Uh, yeah. No, um... Yeah, there is. Two. Yeah. Two. Be proud. Two. Yeah. Two. Two. So here it comes. Factoring two out. We got the x. That's cool. All right. So undistribute two. Two times what? It's 50. 25. 25 goes here. Four a. Four a squared. Wait. Anything look oh, yeah. familiar? Wait, uh, should we not put four Yes, you see it. Oh, you see something familiar? No, I was just saying, would it be four a squared? If... Yeah, wouldn't it be just four a? It is four a squared. Distribute two times twenty five is fifty. Right. Two times negative four a squared is negative eight a squared. It's not four a. A squared. This is an a squared, so this has to be an a squared. Oh, I thought that it was like you had to get the a squared. Tell me what four, 2 times negative 4 a squared is. Negative 8 um, a squared. That's exactly why we have the a squared here, because that's what we're looking for. That's this. Okay? You want to undistribute. I know you know how to distribute this. You just did. Okay? So the question is, can you do it backwards? That's factoring. All right, now, does this look familiar in any way, shape, or form? Last? Yeah. What kind of thing is this? Yeah. Oh, I have another question. Another question, sure. Are you like are you allowed to switch it so it's like four a squared? Yeah, it would have to be negative four a yeah. squared. But usually the difference should go in the middle. It's a good question. Yeah. The difference should go in the middle. Difference of squares. All right. So let's carry this two down. And now we have difference of squares equal to zero. So yeah, try to keep the negative sign in the middle. And now that we identify this as, do we identify this as a difference of squares? Any questions about this being a difference of squares? Yeah, thank you for making my point. That's great. Happy morning to you too. Okay, so plus and minus. It's great. Okay, what times what, right? What do we put here? Five and five. five. What do we put here and here? 2a two, two. Two two times 2a makes 4a squared. That's what goes oh, there. Got it right. Now, set both factors to 0 and we're done. The 2? The 2, we basically we can divide both sides by 2 and the 2 cancels. Or you can multiply both sides by a half. Either way, the 2 is gone. Oh, okay. And this, I was like, this is 0. The 2 is gone. In the, in the equation, the 2 is unnecessary. Okay. All right. So 5a, 5 plus 2a, see if you can catch up to me. Here we go. Hold up. Hold uh, up. Wait a minute. Like, All right. If ever. So. <laughs> oh, you can't. Minus 2a. Can you? Uh, minus 5. Okay. 2a equals negative 5. Everyone cool? Yeah. a equals negative 5 over 2. Okay. Minus 5. Minus 5, I'm just kind of going to... Minus 2a equals... Negative 5. five. So what so is it's that? it's going to be negative 5 over negative 2. Five Which two. is 5 over 2. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, last problem. Is this a difference of squares? Yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah. Wow, that was a really high pitch. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a difference of squares. Go ahead. What is the difference of squares? Um, yeah, you know it? Um, yeah. Well, for the fraction, it would be negative 2 over 7. Uh, and then the W would be W and W. W and W. So, any questions about recognizing the 4 over 49 as the product of 2 over 7 
times 2 over 7. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. Let's write that. It's cool as bubbles. It's cool as bubs. Bubs. Here we go. What are the signs in difference of squares? Plus. And then minus. Plus minus. Does it matter if you do minus plus? Does not matter if you do minus plus. Oh. All right. First terms. What times what? W W. W W. Second terms. I heard it. Two. two. Negative two over four. Oh, well, yeah. we have the signs already. Right. So two over seven. Two over seven. Two over seven. <laughs> two over seven. Okay. All right, and set both to zero, and we're done. Well, how do you? How do, yeah. We, yeah. How, how do we solve? Yeah. Set this to zero? Oh, it doesn't matter. How many factors do you see here? Two. Two, good. What are they? W plus seven, two over seven. W plus two over seven and? W minus two over seven. So you set both of those to zero, zero. and seven. solve both. Okay. Here we go. It's, it's easier than you think. Yeah? Wait, why don't the signs matter? Or like... Because when we FOIL, the middle two terms will cancel. If oh. you know how to FOIL, FOIL this and you'll see that the 2 over 7 w and 2 over 7 w's will go away. Okay. That's the difference of squares. There's no middle term here. Okay. So let's finish it out. w plus 2 over 7 equals 0. So minus 2 over 7. Cool. w equals negative 2 over 7. And positive. And positive. If you set this to 0, w equals 2 over 7. The big theme for difference of squares is that all the answers are opposites. Notice, opposite answers. All right? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, all the answers are opposites in difference of squares. That so you cool. really only need to solve one. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend solving both just to be sure, but you know that they're going to be opposite answers because it's something plus something, something minus something, and so they, they're opposite. All right, any other questions? No, thank you. Yay, 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 Yay,